beautiful people let's drop some notifications before we get started remember to turn this on there we go also drop some quick notifications we are live drop another one okay okay there we go let's see who's gonna get first in the chat today I'm always curious I'm always curious you guys turn that into a thing so let's see who's gonna get first in the chat today I'm gonna make some. Uh, I'm gonna play some bets. I'm gonna say it's gonna be uh, Ghost. I'm gonna say Ghost is first in chat today. Ghost or Mike? No, Gina. Okay, Gina's first in chat today. What's up, Gina? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna have a good one tonight. Uh, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the rules of the game and how simple the rules of the game are. It is crucial that you understand how this game is played, how this this game with anxiety, this game with recovery, it's so crucial that you understand how the game is played. So, uh, hello, hello, Mike, what's up and what's up? Uh, I'm going to pretend like I can speak that language and say hello. Uh, <laughs> Wonder Row, what's up, Sanchez? What's up, dude? Craig, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this every single stream. I'm going to go ahead and drop that link to the Discord right now, actually. Go ahead and do that. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. All right, drop that in there. There we go. Okay, okay. Now we'll give it a few minutes. We'll give it a few minutes. That's Spanish. Yeah, I'm clueless. I'm clueless. I'm just going to say hello and pretend like I know what that says. So, there we go. Uh, Ryder, what's up, dude? Welcome. Welcome, Ryder. Welcome, welcome. Ghost. There's Ghost. I knew he'd be here eventually. What's up, Ghost? A lot of people joining up already tonight. What's up, guys? What is up? What is up? Give it a few minutes, let some people get in here. Last night's stream was good, bro. Did you enjoy it, man? Yeah, it was a good one. <clears throat> it was a good one. We've been uh, we've been on the ball here recently. <clears throat> I saw you years ago, and what you told me was key to heal anxiety. Nice, awesome. <clears throat> Thanks for that. No problem, dude. No problem. I'm glad you decided to uh, keep it up. I'm glad you decided to actually use what you were taught, right? <clears throat> I'm glad you decided to actually use it. Hey, no worries, Craig. I've been I've been working with you for a while now. We just we got to get you going. We got to get you started. We got to get you to actually practice this stuff. But you know, I'm not saying you haven't made any progress because you definitely have. But we got to get you on board. It's so important that we get you on board because the knowledge is only as good as you using it. And if you're not using it, then it's not going to help, right? So I'm not saying you haven't made any progress, but we definitely have to get you on board and keep you on board. Yes, very good topic. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> hey, what a bro. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Chat is filling up, uh, filling up quick tonight, so we're probably going to go ahead and get started here in just a second. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, guys. Topic topic of tonight's stream. The rules of the game are simple. The rules of the game are simple. You know what? Let's go ahead and get started. We've already got a full chat. Let's go ahead and get started. The rules of the game are simple. I promise you guys. I know this feels extremely overwhelming at times. Okay? I know this feels um, extremely complicated at times. I know this feels like the... Um, the most impossible thing in the world at times. But you have to understand, this is crucial. This is crucial because a lot of you are falling victim to the most common anxiety trap there is, which is overcomplication. So this is absolutely crucial that you listen to what I'm about to say. The rules of the game are so insanely simple, right? Now, that doesn't mean you ha don't have to practice. That doesn't mean you don't actually have to make an effort. You do. But you have to keep in mind how simply uh, how simply put the rules of the game are. Let me explain them to you. So when dealing with anxiety, and you know, I, I do a lot of streams where I go really deep with this stuff, and I explain, you know, I explain everything. I, I I try to make it as clear as possible. I go into detail with it. On this stream, I'm going to put the rules of the anxiety game so simple. That there is no excuse. So simple that there's no way that anybody out there does not understand what I'm saying. Okay? So, it might sound like I'm being very, um, uh, you know, just 
not as exciting or not as detailed, but I just want to put it as simple as possible, okay? The rules of the game. When you have anxious symptoms, when you have anxious intrusive thoughts, those are the two things you're dealing with, okay? Anxious symptoms in the body and anxious intrusive thoughts, thoughts that pop up in the mind. Those are the two things you're dealing with. When you have either one of these two things, or both, doesn't matter. When you have either one of these two things, or both, here is how the game is played. If you start worrying about the thoughts, if you start worrying about the feelings, and what does worry sound like? Oh God, I hate this so much. I don't want to feel this. That's what it sounds like when the feelings are there. I don't want to feel this. How do I get away from this? What if this gets worse? What if this causes this? What is this? What if this causes that? That's what the worry sounds like with the feelings. Now the thoughts. Oh God, what if that thing does happen? What can I do to prevent that thing from happening? I don't want to think that, but here, here's why it won't happen. Here's why it might happen. Let me go on and on and on. That's what the worry sounds like with the thoughts. The rules are the gay, uh, of the game are this simple. If you start to do the worry over the anxious thoughts or the anxious feelings, you are losing the game. Simply put, you are losing the game. You are adding what we call second fear. Second fear is just a fancy term that Dr. Claire Weeks used to describe worry. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, but the worry's out of my control. No, it's not. It's a habit. It's a very strong habit. It's one that you've probably had for a very long time, but it's absolutely not out of your control. Don't give me that shit, okay? It's a habit that you can break. It's a habit that you can break. So again, here's the rules of the game. Put as simply as possible. You won't hear it any, any more simple anywhere else that you look. The rules of the game are this simple, right? And keep in mind, I didn't say that doesn't mean you don't have to practice. You do. But the rules of the game are this simple. When experiencing anxious thoughts or anxious feelings, either one or both, it doesn't matter. When experiencing anxious thoughts or feelings, if you start to worry about the thoughts or the feelings, if you start to worry about what the thoughts are saying or you start to worry about the feelings, you are losing the game. I didn't Keep in mind, I didn't say you've lost because you can always get back on track. You can always get back on board at any given moment, right? So keep in mind, I didn't say you've lost the game. I said you are losing the game. Because there's no such thing as having lost the game completely. At any given moment, you can get back on board. At any given moment, you can get back on track and you can call yourself out on your own shit, right? So I will never say you've lost the game, but I will say you're losing the game. If you have anxious thoughts and you start to worry about what they're saying, if you have anxious feelings and you start to worry about what they're doing, then you are losing the game. I'm going to say that one more time because this is so crucial. Like I said, you're not going to hear it put any more simple anywhere else that you look. And it's, uh, it, it's so important that you do keep it simple. And it's so important that you understand this. If you start to worry about what the anxious thoughts are saying, or if you start to worry about what the anxious bodily symptoms are doing, then you are losing the game. I didn't say lost because there's no such thing as lo uh, losing completely. You can always get back on board. But I am saying losing. You are losing the game. Because here's the thing. Dr. Claire Weeks knew it better than anybody. Second fear was just a fancy term for worry at the end of the day. She knew that the extra worry that you give your nerves over these bodily physical symptoms and these negative intrusive thoughts is what keeps you in the anxiety cycle. She knew that that's what tells the brain that there's a danger when there's not. She knew that that's what wires the brain to be anxious. She knew that that's what continues to sound the alarm. She knew that this is what keeps the cycle alive. So again, you're not going to hear it put any more simple than that no matter where you look, right? And now, as a human being with a mind who overcomplicates and overthinks everything, you're going to want to look way deeper into that. You're going to want to question that. You're going to want to say, uh, yeah, but what if, yeah, but what if, yeah, but what if. You're going to want to worry, right? But you got to understand, you cannot worry your way out of anxiety. You cannot worry your way into recovery. You cannot worry your way out of this cycle. In fact, that's what's keeping you in it, right? That's what's keeping you in it. So again, the rules of the game are extremely simple. They're extremely straightforward and extremely, you know, can't be, can't be misunderstood. They, they can't be misunderstood. When you have anxious thoughts, intrusive negative thoughts, and you have anxious feelings, you are losing the game 
if you start to worry about those feelings or what those thoughts are saying. If you start to enter into that worry in your head, mentally, then you are losing the game, right? So that is why we must practice acceptance. That is why when these anxious thoughts come, we just simply say, okay, if it happens, it happens. That is why when these anxious feelings come, we say, okay, I want to feel this way. I don't care to feel this way, right? That is why we have to play the game this way. Because if you experience these anxious thoughts and these anxious feelings and they get you to worry, you're losing. You are losing the game. There's no other way that I can put that to you. And some people um, you know, out there might say, well, Wonder Bro, that sounds very mean of you to say. Well, it's true. It's true, okay? Being nice doesn't make people uh, heal. Being nice doesn't make people recover. Facts do, right? Facts do. Telling people how the game is played, that that's what heals people, not being nice. So I'm not here to be nice. I'm here to tell you that when these anxious, intrusive thoughts come, and these anxious physical symptoms come, if they get you to worry, you are losing the game. And there's no other way to put that. Now, I could come on here and I could hold your hand and I could say, you know, oh, my little sugar plum, it will be okay even if you sit around and worry about these thoughts and feelings all day. Uh, my little sugar plum, it's going to be fine. My little rainbow cupcake, it's going to be okay. I could do that, but that's not going to make you heal. That's fucking stupid right? So instead, I'm going to tell you the facts. If you sit around all day, and when you have these thoughts, you worry about what the thoughts are saying, and you have these feelings, and you worry about the feelings, this is all done up here mentally. If you do that, you're losing. If you do that, you're not getting any closer to healing, right? This is the habit that most must be broken, right? So because I want to see people heal, and because I want to see people make progress, and because I want to see people recover, I have to put it to you bluntly. I can't come on here and I can't hold your hand and say, you know what, if you worry, oh, it's okay. It's okay, sweetie pie, everybody. Everybody worries, darling. Don't worry, you know, don't worry about your worrying. It's okay. Just continue to sit around and, and worry all day long. That's fine. That's fine. No big deal, right? I can't come on here and do that and expect people to heal because guess what? You've been doing it for year after year after year after year and you're miserable. You're absolutely miserable and you want to heal. So I can't come on here and encourage you to continue worrying. I can't come on here and say, you know what? Just keep, just keep worrying. It's okay. Just keep worrying. It's okay. It's, it, you know, it happens. Just, just keep on doing what you're doing, right? Why? I would never want to do that because I want to see people actually make progress, right? So I'm going to tell you straight up that when these anxious thoughts and feelings come, if they get you to worry, then you're losing. And that, that's all it is. You are losing the game. And if you really want to come out of this cycle, and if you really want to heal, and you really want to make progress, you can't go that route. You can't go that route. You have to spot it. You have to break it. So when these thoughts come, you have to say, so be it. If that happens, it happens. Might not make you feel good right away, but that's the route you got to go because you know how the game's played. When these feelings come, you got to say, okay, I'm here for it. I'm fucking here for it, right? And you got to keep that attitude. And anytime worry starts to come in, the old habit of worry starts to come in, you got to spot that and you got to stomp that shit out. You've got to make an effort. You got to put in some sort of effort here, right? This is how people heal. This is how people recover. So understand that, yes, I could come on here and I could hold your hand and I could tell you, you know what, sweetie, it's fine. It's fine, sugar. Just just keep doing the worry. It's no big deal. Just, just keep worrying. You know, I could do that. I could come on here and say, you know, oh, you know, just continue to lay around and do the same thing you've been doing for three years with all the worry. I could come on here and say that. I could give you that reassurance and that comfort, but I don't want to see that. I don't want to do that because I don't want to see that. I know that everybody in this chat is absolutely capable of healing if they understand how the rules of the game are played and then put forth an effort. Okay, continue, continue to remember that you have to put forth an effort to break the habit that's put you in the situation that you're in. Nothing about this is nice. Nothing about this is hold your hand. Nothing about this is let me let me rub your shoulders and, and, and tell you how it's going to be OK. Nothing about this, OK, is supposed to be nice. Right. But if you want to make true progress, if you want if you want to enter into recovery, if you want to enter into healing, 
I've got to tell you how the game is played, and I've got to tell you straight up that if you want to heal, you absolutely can heal, but I need to see some effort. If you want to heal, you absolutely can heal, but you've got to actually try. If you want to heal, you can absolutely heal, but if you continue to sit around, and even though you know how the game is played, you continue to sit around and worry about what every thought is saying and worry about every physical feeling that's coming without trying to break that habit, you're not going to get anywhere. Just to be blunt, just to be honest, just to be straightforward with you, you're not going to get anywhere, right? And you already know that. You already know that. You've been here for how long, right? You've been here for how long? You already know that, okay? So, you know, in one way, people people kind of enjoy that comfort. They enjoy that reassurance, and I get it. It's not the funnest thing in the world to deal with. I've been there. I understand that. But at the same time, if you want to actually create healed people... A lot of the times, you have to give them the straight facts. You can't cater to the bad habit that put them there to begin with. As long as you cater to the bad habit, they're just going to keep going in circles. They're just going to keep going in circles. At some point, somebody in their life has to step up and say, Hey, I know what you're going through. Here's how the game is played. I don't necessarily want to hold your hand. I want to see you heal. At some point in, in this person's life, somebody has to come into it and say, here's how the game's played. Now let's do it, right? Here's how the game's played. Now let's do it. So, you know, <clears throat> there there's a huge difference. There There's a huge difference between getting on here and trying to comfort people, which I do from time to time, right? I do from time to time. But there's a huge difference between doing that all the time and actually creating healed people. And the reason we have so many healed people here is because we do put it bluntly. We do put it in your face, and we do tell you that this shit is in your hands, but you got to use it. And we do tell people that this recovery thing is in your hands, and it's in within your reach, Okay, but you got to take how the game is played and then you got to start playing it. Right. So, you know, in one way, I do enjoy comforting people. I do enjoy giving people a little bit of reinsurance. I do enjoy being that comfort. But in another way, right, you need to know how the game is played. And now you do. And then you need to be told that there's no longer any excuses. If you want it, it's here. Right. If you want it, you got to spot the worry habit and you got to break it. Right. You got to switch up to acceptance. So, uh, you know, if, if you watch enough of my streams and somebody says, once you healed, how did you ensure you never fell back into it? You're still worrying. Do you, do you see? You're still worrying. So you're worrying about the physical feelings. You're saying, oh, gosh, I hope I, I, I hope I can ensure that I never fall back into it. You're still worrying. The rules of the game are this. When you have physical symptoms, if it gets you to worry, you're losing. If you have anxious, intrusive thoughts, if they get you to worry about what they're saying, you're losing, right? So when you say, how do you ensure that you never fall back into it? You're still worrying, therefore you're losing. That's just me being blunt. That's just me being honest, right? Not because I don't care about you or because I want to be a dick, but because I do care about you and I want to see you heal and I want to see you live the life that you deserve to live. So there's the blunt, honest truth about it all. There's the blunt, honest truth about it all, okay? So again... Again, I know there will be a handful of people that watch this stream and think to themselves, wow, he was, he was a real douchebag tonight. And that's okay. They can think that if they want to think that. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. Uh, because the, the fact of the matter is, I want to see people heal. I want to see people recover. And I want to see people live the life that they deserve to live. And if I have to be a bit of a douchebag to accomplish that and come off as a bit of a douchebag, then I'll be the biggest douchebag you've ever met. If it means that you'll understand how the game is played and then play it the correct way so that you can heal, I'll do whatever needs to be done. No matter how many people want to consider me a douchebag, that's fine with me. I actually want to see people recover. I don't want to cater to people. I want to see people recover. That's my agenda. That's my goal. And if coming off as a dickhead is how that's going to be accomplished, then I guess that's how that's going to be accomplished. And I could care less, right? Because you deserve to live a better life. You deserve to not be a bitch to anxiety. You deserve to not live the way that you're living. It's very silly. It's very silly. And the reason I say that it's silly is because the game is played so simply. I didn't say it was easy, but it's silly that you continue to have to suffer like this because you don't have to. You don't have to continue to suffer like this. So if you understand how the game is played, which you do now after watching this stream, it would be silly for you to not put an effort into breaking that because you're absolutely capable. You 
might not believe in yourself, but I absolutely believe in you because I've been there. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And we've seen a huge amount of success on the channel. So it is, it, it is indeed silly if you don't make the effort to break the habit. Because now you know how the game is played. And now you know that you can live the life that you want to live. And now you know that you can heal. So it would be silly, yes, to continue to have to suffer this way when you do not have to suffer this way. That would be silly of you. Now that you know how the game is played, let's put in some effort. When you spot the worry habit, right? Again, if these negative intrusive thoughts, if these anxious feelings, either or, get you to worry, then you're losing the game. So how do you break that? You spot the worry and you turn it into an accepting attitude instead. And you do that over and over and over and over and over. So yes, it would be completely silly to continue suffering the way that you're suffering. Let's get on board. And yes, you might not get instant results right away, but you will retrain and you will recover. If you dedicate to how the game is played. And now you know how the game is played, so there's no excuses, right? So to continue having to suffer the way that you're suffering is indeed silly, right? Now, I didn't say it was going to be easy. I didn't say it wasn't going to take effort. It will take effort. It will take practice. You're breaking a bad habit. But you see where I'm coming from when I say I don't want to see people suffer. And if I have to come off as a bit of a douchebag in order to accomplish uh you know, people's healing, then that's what I'll do. Because for so long, people are catered to. They're catered to in a way that they're not told how the game is played, and they're not told how to break out of the game. Therefore, they never do, because people's too busy holding their hands. People are too busy catering to them and telling them how sorry they feel for them. And don't get me wrong, I do feel for you guys, because I have been there. But I'm not going to come on here and tell you every single stream how sorry I feel for you, because what's that going to do? It's going to lead to you worrying more. And that's not how the game is won. Right? So instead of doing that... Instead of going that route, I want to go the route that's going to help people the most. And that route might make me sound like a bit of a douche at times. But it's the route that works. It's the route that works. And that's why we have so many people heal here as compared to other places. Right? Because we give people facts. So, <clears throat> there you go. That is how the game is played. I know, I know this stream was more of an aggressive one. Okay, I get that. This stream was more of an aggressive one. It was more of an in-your-face. It was more of a um, borderline, um, some people might even have found it a bit insulting. But at the end of the day, like I said, I care about people's recovery. I care about people's healing. I want to see people live the lives that they deserve to live. And if I have to come out off as a bit insulting in order to do that, then that's what I'll do. Because I want to see you live the life that you deserve, the, uh, that you deserve to live. At the end of the day, this is all coming from a place of very tough love. At the end of the day, this is coming from a place of... I want to continue to see results here, right? I'm not here to try to um, necessarily hold people's hands. I want to see results, and you want to see results too. So let's get down to business. Let's cut the bullshit. Let's cut the beating around the bush, and let's cut the sugar coating, and let's get right down to bullshit or right down to business and cut the bullshit. There we go. Instead of sugar coating it. Because that's, that's, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, right? You can, you can continue to do the worry habit, and you can continue to blame it on the anxiety, and you can continue to blame it on your past, and you can continue to blame it on everything else but yourself. But at the end of the day, you now know how the game is played, and there's absolutely no excuses. So, you know, you can play the blame game for a very long time, and you can say it's not for me, and you can say I can't do it, and you can do that for a very long time, and some people do do that for a very long time. But until we get people to take responsibility uh, for this habit and start to work on this habit, it's going to be hard to see uh, results for these people, right? So the people that are here and the people that have been here in the past that come in here and they say, you know, Wonder Bro, I feel so good, I feel so great, I've got my life back, which happens all the fucking time. These people, the only difference between these people and the people that are not quite there yet is these people understood how the game was played. They listened to the words that I had to say, and then they did it, right? And then they did it. So that's what it comes down to, guys. That's what it comes down to. And again, this is, this is all out of tough love. This is all out of I want to see results, you know? This is all out of a place of I want to see you recover. And I know that you can. I know that you can. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world. I've been there. All right, but you absolutely are capable. All right, you guys, I love you. We're going to head on over to the post stream. It was a good one today. Like I said, it was a bit of tough love today, but it's all coming from a, a really good place. It's all coming from a really good place. So let's see who's over in the chat. <clears throat> who's over in the chat tonight? Uh, let's see, we got Pootie. What's up, Pootie? Welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. 
<clears throat> hey, you're doing good, man. I know you have your ups and downs. Everybody has their ups and downs. Everybody has their, uh, your, you know, their moments, so to speak. And recovery is not linear, right? Recovery is not linear. It's not exactly something that's straightforward, you know? So, but you're, you're staying on track and that's what matters. You're staying on track and that's what matters. <clears throat> What's up, Travis? Travis says we're stuck in this shit show until we stand up and walk right through it. I absolutely agree with you. And, and, and like I said, you know, sometimes I do have streams where I'm more catering. Sometimes I do have stream where, uh, streams where I hold more hands. Uh, sometimes I do have those streams where I'm just trying to comfort people. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, that's not my main objective at all. I would much rather come on here and, and come off as a bit of a douche if that's going to get my point across because I want to see results, right? Uh, now, I could lead you on and on and on with the catering and the hand-holding, and, and I could do that on and on and on, but that's not going to get us results, and I want to see you get results, right? So t sometimes you got to be a bit of a douche. Sometimes you got to tell people, this is how the game is played, and if you want to see results, you got to do it, right? You know, sometimes that's how you have to be um, if, if you care about results, and I know there's a handful of people out there, you know, I'm not mentioning names, but there's a handful of other resources out there on the internet uh, involving anxiety that will hold your hand for the rest of your life if you want them to. You know, if you want them to, they'll hold your hand and they'll cater to you for the rest of your life. I don't want that for you. I want you to get over this shit. I want you to get over this shit and never have to come back. I'll miss you. You, could, you can stop in and say hi from time to time, but I don't want to lead you on like these other resources out there just to keep you on the hook i want to tell you here's how it's done let's get it done and i'll see you later right let's move on to the next person that needs it that's what i want so you know i know i get i get the rare comment every now and then uh when i check my comments from people saying oh my goodness you just you curse so much and you go on so much and you know and i'm just like look you've been in this state for how fucking long do you want help or not you can continue complaining, you can continue talking about this and that and the other, but I want to see you live. I want to see you fucking live your life, right? So, I mean, you can continue complaining about the cursing, and, you know, I get those comments from time to time. You can continue saying that I, I, I'm, I'm too straightforward, I'm too blunt about it, but look... You know, it, something's got to get you out of that bed, and something's got to get you breaking this habit if you want your life back. So, if it offends you, uh, tough shit, I guess. But I want to see you live. I want to see you heal, you know? Uh, and sometimes that's what it takes, guys. So, just understand that at the end of the day, it's all coming from a place of love, man. It's all coming from a place of, I want to see you do better. That's where it's coming from. That's what matters. And, you know, sometimes, like Cassie and chat said, sometimes I think we need our butt kicked into gear. She's correct. She's absolutely correct. You, to break a bad habit takes work, and sometimes that requires somebody kicking you in the ass from time to time, right? Sometimes that's what it requires, and that's okay. Hey, what's up, Why? Welcome to the stream, dude. I just saw your video where you're in an attack helicopter. <laughs> yeah, the green screen days. The green screen days, oh my god, I remember that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Cold hard facts do help. I personally respond to people kicking my butt when I'm going down the anxiety rabbit hole rather than uh, pandering to them. I, I agree. I feel like most people do respond better to tough love than they do catering. And even the people who think they don't respond better to tough love, still at the end of the day, they do. Let me explain that. They might not think they respond well to tough love, but obviously the catering doesn't work for them or they wouldn't be in the situation that they're in. So they might not prefer the tough love, but the tough love is probably what's going to work for them. Right? Does that make sense? You know, if I wasn't passionate about it, if I didn't, if I didn't truly care um, and want to see results, then I probably wouldn't go that route. You know, because I wouldn't have that drive there. I wouldn't have that passion there. Uh, but I go, I go that route because I want to see people heal. <clears throat> So that's the route I choose to go. And again, how, you know, for those of you joining us late, what are the rules of the game? If anxiety, if these physical symptoms and these intrusive thoughts, if the thoughts can get you to worry about what they're saying, you're losing. If the physical symptoms can get you to worry about them, you're losing. 
You've got to spot that and turn it into an accepting attitude instead. That's how the game is played. It's as simple as that, but it does take work. It does take effort. And you got to get on the ball, right? And so today, I, in, in the most loving way, in the most loving but yet blunt way possible, I explain to people that they can heal if they understand the rules of the game, which are very simple, and then put forth an effort, right? In the most loving and blunt way possible, that is what we talked about today. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we just want to see results. It's the only way to go. Either you're all the way in or you're not. It's blunt, but it's the way. Yes, correct. Correct, correct, correct. The The rules of the game, as we just stated, are very, very simple. But uh, getting people to actually get on board and play by the rules of the game, now that's a different story. And sometimes that requires being extremely blunt, right? And sometimes that requires offending some people. Uh, that's okay. That's a small price to pay, in my opinion, to see people recover. That's a very small price to pay. Um you know, I'll pay that price all day long if it means that people are actually going to listen. I'll pay that price all day long, dude. I'll be the villain in your story. <laughs> Out of all the YouTubers that talk about mental health, I'll be the bad guy if that means we're going to get... Um, if we're going to continue, because we've seen a lot, uh, but I'll be the bad guy. If we're going to continue to get results, I'll continue to be the quote-unquote bad guy. That's fine with me. I love the community you carry. Wonder Bro it truly has helped me greatly with my anxiety and sensitization, my guy. I listen to your videos every night. Thanks, George. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, most importantly, I hope you're using it, right? It sounds like you are, so congrats. I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm just blunt because it works. Uh, does this apply to pure OCD? Yes. Yes, 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 absolutely. Same concept. I have a question, Wonder Bro. I've been feeling a lot better for a long time. Almost normal. Awesome. Uh, still haven't had my first setback. I'm kind of waiting for it because I know I need setbacks for complete recovery. Not necessarily true. We do say that setbacks are normal, and we do say that they can be expected, but that doesn't mean you'll necessarily have one. You can worry your way into one, which it sounds like you might be starting to do. I wouldn't worry your way into one. Just remember how the game is played. If you worried about the feelings, you're losing. If you worry about what the thoughts are saying, you're losing. That's all you need to remember. That's your only job. Outside of that, that's it. That's it. So not necessarily do every, does everybody go through a, a setback. They are normal, and you can probably expect it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen. You know what I mean? Uh, so you say, do you think waiting for the setbacks to uh, stop it from coming? Oh, who was that? Ooh. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. I always leave my headphones on 100. Why do I do that? You guys jump scare me every time. Cassie coming in with the $10 tip says, please keep kicking butt. I appreciate you, Cassie. Thank you so much for the $10 tip. Uh, will we hit our seven-day streak? We are close to our record, guys. Our record currently is a 10-day streak. Will we get there? We will see. Uh, do you think waiting for the setback stops it from coming? Well, if you're waiting in a non-worried way, then yeah, because you're not worried, right? You're just like, fuck it. So, again, you're winning the game. If that's your attitude, you're winning the game, right? Uh, but if you're worried about it coming, then that's a different story, because now we know that that's how you lose the game, right? Uh, again, thank you so much, Cassie, for the $10 tip. Can we show her some love in the chat, please? First tip of the night, show her some love, man. Show her some love. I would appreciate it. Uh, while we're, you know, chatting and answering questions and all that good stuff, let's go ahead and get some music going. We fixed that yesterday, finally, after uh, what felt like months of not having music. We finally got that fixed. <coughs> let's see what we got here. Top 500 no copyright sounds. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if it's any good. <clears throat> but absolutely neon purple. Absolutely. It's the same concept, dude. It's the same thing at the end of the day. Same thing at the end of the day. It's all based around fear. And if this, the OCD, whether you want to call it OCD or whether you want to call it anxiety or whether you want to call it pure OCD or whatever you want to call it, fear is fear. So at the end of the day, if you worry about what the thoughts are saying, then you're losing because that fuels the cycle. If you worry about the feelings, then you're losing because that feel, fuels the cycle. That's all that Dr. Claire Weeks meant by second fear. You guys got to understand that when she said second fear, that was just a fancy term for worry. That's all that was. Is everybody clear on that? Second fear 
what Dr. Claire Weeks meant by second fear was simply worry. That's all she meant by that. That's it. That's it. So you got to spot when you're adding the worry and say, you know what? Fuck it. Turn it into acceptance. Get on with your day. And you got to do that and 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 do that. Right? That's what the that's where the word practice comes into play. So again, does everybody understand that the word second fear was just a complicated, well, not necessarily complicated, but a fancy word uh, for worry. That's all. She, that's literally all she meant by that. That's it. That's so awesome, Why? I'm happy for your progress, dude. Keep it up. I would say keep it up. Just remember how the game is played. Remember your one job and keep it up. I think my biggest thing has always been my fear of my emotions. I can deal with sensations and do things more than I was able to. So you're making progress. But when fear comes in anger while I'm in a van full of people, I crumble. So you're making progress, but there's still some worry there. Just remember your one job and continue practicing. You're doing good. Keep it up. You're doing good. You can keep it up. I might be blunt and a bit of a douche from time to time, but I'll still I'll still be your support all day long. <laughs> right? I'll still be your support all day long. I'll still give you that motivation and that encouragement and tell you that you're doing good because you are doing good. Mom of eight. Hey, Mom of eight. Thank you for coming in with the $10 tip. Says tough day today. It's okay. A lot of chest pains all day. I'm stuck in the fear of fear of hamster wheels. So you know where you are. You're very self-aware. That's good. Uh, thanks for the video. I need my butt kicked maybe to kick me off the hamster wheel. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. You got to remember that your goal is that you want to recover and you're not going to let anything stop you from that. Therefore, you're going to spot the worry over the thoughts and feelings. You're going to turn it into acceptance and you're going to keep doing that and you're going to practice the shit out of that right because you know what your goal is and now you know how the game is played so it's okay if you're having a tough day like i say I, I might be extremely blunt sometimes but i'll still tell you that it's okay to have a tough day and i feel for you i do because i've been there and i understand it's not the easiest practice in the world i get it right so i'll give you that i'll give you that comfort and i'll pat you on the back from time to time <laughs> i said earlier i wouldn't but i will from time to time i'll pat you on the back Okay, but we do want to get you on track. We do want to get you on board, and we want to get you going, right? Because that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for the $10 tip, though. I really, really do appreciate it. <clears throat> I really, really do appreciate it. That puts us at, uh, I need to update that. Wow, I almost totally forgot. That puts us at 20 for the day. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> Huge, uh, huge shout out to Mom of Eight and Cassie. Thank you guys. It's all about this song is a bit intense. I might change this. I don't even. It's really not that catchy. <laughs> Let's see. It's an 11 hour long video, so I'm just kind of skipping through and hoping we land on a good song. They're not even labeled. Um, Alright, whatever we land on next is what we're going with. There we go. I guess that'll have to do. Um, Travis says, I don't only have anxiety, but a bit of a dumbass. I want to donate, but don't know how. Uh, if you'd like to donate, which is optional, uh, I do appreciate it though. If you'd like to donate, all you got to do is click the X on the live chat. That way you can get to the description of the stream, and it'll be the first uh, link right there in the stream. If you don't want to go through the link, you can send it directly through the PayPal. You won't get the little cloud on the screen and all that good stuff, though, if you do that. Uh, you can send it directly to the PayPal, though, at shorter1993 at live.com. Uh, but if you want to make it rain with the cloud on the screen, you got to use the link. It's the first link in the description. Close out the uh, live chat there. Love your straightforward approach. No fluff. I appreciate that, Kate. Excited to follow along and see my progress. It's been 15 years too long. I agree with you. It has been too long. But now you are here. Now you know the rules of the game, and there's no excuses. The only thing that stops me from saying I'm completely recovered is the joy I used to have, and life still isn't there. So life changes, right? We can't blame everything on anxiety. Maybe uh, maybe your life is, is not as full of joy as it used to be. Maybe there's you know a tougher living situation. Maybe you're a bit more stressed these days. But if you keep up with acceptance, that joy will return, because this is not only good life ad or anxiety advice it's good life advice right so just keep it up sometimes it takes time uh, the brain doesn't learn as quickly as we would probably like it to but it will learn just keep it up 
just keep it up keep it up keep it up keep it up you've been through a lot you've had a long journey don't expect 100 percent joy overnight right just keep it up keep it up and outside of acceptance if you want to get into some new things like some new hobbies or you want to mix it up and do things that are going to be beneficial for you go for it but make sure you keep that acceptance up do you have any other options to donate other than PayPal or the link? I do have Cash App if anybody wants that. Um, I've got the Cash App listed on my main screen. I don't have it on this one because I feel like I feel like a lot of people use PayPal over Cash App, but I could be wrong. Um, let me see. Instead of having to have people ask for it. There we go. Right there. Why didn't I do that soon? <laughs> okay. Good job, Wonder Bro. It was right there the whole time. There you go. If, if you want to use the cash app. I do apologize that my cash tag is so long. I do apologize that my cash tag is so long and complicated. Uh, but it won't let me change it. I've already done it twice. And apparently you can never change it again. If you've all, if you've already done it twice. So uh, The cloud raining money is so much more fun. I agree. I quickly go out of the donate page once my payment goes through so I can see the fun cloud. It's a happy little dude. I want to change it up at some point because we've had him for so long. Uh, but everybody loves the uh, the money cloud. So Again, guys, I do appreciate all the tips, though. I, I really do. Uh, it helps keep this show on the road. It helps keep me afloat. And uh, just know I'm, I'm really grateful for it. <clears throat> Thanks, Wonder Bro. No problem, my man. No problem. It's what I'm here for. It's what I'm here for is to try to help you guys along. <coughs> All about learning how that game is played, right? The cash app, the cash app is something I just recently started to try to give people more options for the people who do want to tip and support the stream. Uh, I wanted to give people more options and ways to do that. So the cash app is something I, I just started not long ago. That's like the two main ones, right? Like nobody else really uses anything but those two, I would assume. Um, Lacey, what's up, Lacey? What's up, beautiful? What's up, gorgeous? Hope you're having a good night. <clears throat> I'm starving, guys, to be honest. That Pop-Tart is not cutting it. I need to go throw a pizza in the oven or something. It's probably what I'll do, but I'm enjoying this live, so I'm going to stick around for a bit. Finally got two lives in. I, yeah, I noticed that, dude. I noticed how you said, uh, I think it was yesterday, you said you don't really get to catch the lives. I'm glad you've caught two back-to-back -back now. That's awesome. Hey, Wonder Bro, what's up, Lisa? Hope you're doing well. This song is really low. Let me find something else. Oof, okay, that's intense. Your best tip on pushing through, being patient, and the thought that the sensitization will be there forever. So, again, how, how, is the, how is the game played? The game is played in this way. If the anxious, intrusive thought, in your case, it's the thought of the sensitization lasting forever. If that comes in and that gets you to worry, you're losing. So how would you not do that? Well, the thought comes in, oh, sensitization will last forever. Oh, wait, I know how the game is played. Okay, fine. I hope it does. And then we go back to living. You see how we're playing the game now? Because we know the rules of the game. So that's how you'd handle that. Same thing with any, any sort of feelings. Remember the rules of the game and keep it simple, right? That's your goal, is to remember the rules of the game and keep it simple. If that thought comes in and gets you to worry, you're losing. If the feeling comes in and gets you to worry, you're losing, right? Regardless of context, so let's let's keep it simple and always remember how the game is played. Uh, I love the short videos you make. I appreciate that, George. I've been trying to do more of them uh, here recently, especially like in the morning time. It's the best way to start off your day for real. Uh, LOL keeps uh, keeps notice and accept in your mind. Hey, I, I'm glad you enjoyed the shorts, dude. Uh, I've been trying to do more of them recently. It's it's fairly new. Uh, that's what we used to do back in the day, but we didn't do those for a long time, and I'm trying to bring them back a little bit. Will you start the donation through YouTube? You mean like the paid per, uh, subscription thing? The partnership thing? Uh, Wonder Bro, question. Is it okay to be extra anxious because of COVID slash Delta on the rise and I am pressured to getting uh, vaccinated? Well, again, remember, this doesn't only apply to anxious thoughts. You know, this also applies to real world worries. If there's no action that you can take and those thoughts get you to worry, then you're losing. Even if that is based around something in the real world. 
you know, either take the action, but at the end of the day, you still don't need to do the worry because that's going to keep you, it's not going to change anything. It's just going to keep you in that anxious state. So remember that the game is played, right? Not only involving what if thoughts, but also involving real world worries that you can't do anything necessarily about, right? If there's action to take, go take it. But still, you got to play the game the way the game is played. It all comes down to that, guys. It, it, it always will come down to that. It always will come down to that. At the end of the day, you know, regardless of context, the, the game is always going to be played the game the way the game is played. I can't change the rules of the game. You can't change the rules of the game. Doesn't matter what the thoughts are saying. Doesn't matter what the negative thoughts are saying. Doesn't matter what the anxious feelings are doing. The rules of the game cannot be changed by anyone or anybody. Right? And that's the thing. The rules of the game cannot be changed by anything or anybody, regardless of what the thoughts are, the negative thoughts are saying, regardless of what the anxious symptoms are doing. The rules of the game never change, and they can't be changed, and they won't be changed. Right? Uh, totally unrelated uh, to myself, totally. Uh, before I read the rest of that comment, I, some people I know are joining us late. So let me, I keep saying the rules of the game. Let me briefly explain them one more time because there might be some people out there like, what the fuck is he talking about? The rules of the game are simple. If your negative intrusive thoughts get you to worry about what they're saying, you're losing. You're staying in the cycle. If the symptoms get you to worry about what they're doing, you're losing. You're staying in the cycle. That's the rules of the game. Just for anyone joining us late, they're like, what the fuck does he keep talking about the rules of the game for? Uh, but on the 25th, at about 10 a.m. Uh, New Zealand time, can you do a stream on feeling emotions while on a van full of people? Again, totally unrelated to me. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay. You guys love that. You guys love jump scaring me there. Uh, the $5 tip coming from Style Alert. Thank you so much, Style Alert. As always, thanks for helpful videos. I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys. Seriously, that helps me out a ton. Will we hit our seven-day streak? We will see. Right now, our current record is 10 days. That is our current, current record. I do appreciate that tip. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate it. Let's give a huge shout out to Cassie Mom of Eight Style Alert. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonder Bros, the Lord of the Game. I, I don't know if I'd go that far, but I would say that it took me a while to understand the rules of the game, even though they're so freaking simple. It took me a while to understand the rules of the game, uh, and then it took me a little bit more time after that to start playing by the rules of the game so i don't know if i'd say i'm the lord of the game but uh over time i did start to understand the rules like the back of my hand and started to apply it anybody can do it uh i don't know ghost i might start the partner thing maybe because it's optional so i might start that LOL, I already know the answer to that. Never mind. Like I said, if you get a worry about the real world and there's action you can take, like, oh, I need to go pay my bills by tomorrow. They're due by tomorrow. Then you can go pay your bills, right? But nine times out of ten, there's no action you can take. So regardless, you've got to play the game the way the game is played. And that means to not add the worry. And that's just a matter of catching it. Catching it and turning it into accepting attitude instead. And that takes some that's it that takes some dedicated effort. And that's where people fall short, but we gotta get you we gotta get you playing by the rules. We have to. <clears throat> we have to, we have to, we have to. Let's see here. Um Hey, Sanchez, my guy, Sanchez coming in with the $25 tip, dude, Sanchez, thank you so much, man, putting us at tip goal today, says, Wonder Bro, what's your opinion on the vaccine, yes or no, have you gotten it, I have not gotten it, but I'm not going to say whether I agree or disagree with it, and I know that kind of sucks, you're probably thinking, damn, dude, I hit your tip goal and you can't answer my question, but I'll tell you why I can't. I'll, I'll tell you that I haven't gotten it, but I'll tell you why I can't tell you how I feel about it. And this is why. 
because I'm just not sure. To be completely fair and to be completely honest with you, I just do not have a firm opinion on it. And I'm not going to express it because I don't want to encor encourage, nor do I want to detour people from the, that want to get it. I don't want to encourage getting it, and I don't want to discourage getting it. I don't want to be uh, responsible for that choice. So, um, unfortunately, I can't give you a firm answer on that one. I wish I could. But uh, thank you so much, dude, for helping us hit our typical. That takes us to our seven-day streak. We just might beat our record around here, chat. We just might do it. Hey, I'm late. What's going on, Wonder Bro? What's up, Denise? Um, chat, let's give a special shout-out to everybody who has tipped tonight. Those people are... Sanchez, my guy Sanchez, Style Alert, Mom of Eight, and Cassie. Let's give a huge shout out to all of these lovely, lovely people, man. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Anxiety is such a paradox. It absolutely is. It wins if it gets you to worry. That's it. That win that that's that's it. That's the rules. It wins if it gets you to worry. That's all Dr. Claire Weeks meant by second fear. First time I've watched you stream and messaged, I was like, people reply to comments on stream because I've seen other streamers not really reading comments, and you were the first person that replied. Uh, I love my community, dude. I don't get me wrong. I understand that with bigger streamers, uh, it gets to the point where it's really hard to keep up with the comments and you can't read them all. I understand that, um, but I agree with you. You know, there are some streamers out there that could probably do a better job at actually interacting with their community. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we got to cut them a little bit of slack. Their chats probably roll a lot faster than mine do right now. So it's probably a bit harder for them. It can be a bit hard for me sometimes to keep up, not going to lie. Uh, thanks, donators. Yes, I appreciate it, man. Again, huge shout out to these lovely people. Sanchez, Style Alert, Mom of Eight, Cassie. You guys have uh, really helped me out tonight, and I appreciate it. Anxiety wins if it gets you to worry, man. If all you take from this stream is that right there, anxiety wins if it gets you to worry. Now, that includes, when I say the word anxiety, that includes those physical and mental symptoms, right? The thoughts and the feelings. But if that's all you take from this stream is that anxiety wins if it gets you to worry, well, then you've cracked, the, you've solved the mystery. <laughs> you've solved what's keeping you there. You've solved it. That's That's the end of the story right there. Hey, I appreciate you watching, Brock. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys give this stream a little like if you enjoyed it, man. Make sure you give it a like. It helps the channel grow. That's what it's all about, man. Trying to get the word out there. Trying, trying to get this message out there, man. I can't do it without you guys. I can't get this message out there without your help. There's probably countless people's, uh, people out there right now sitting around that need this advice. Let's get it to them, man. Let's get it to them. How long does it take to desensitize the sensitization? Same as fight, flight, depersonalization. Sensitization is just a term that means that your nerves are really tired from continued worry. Right? That's all that means. It just means that your nerves are really tired. How long does it take? It's different for everyone. But if you worry about it, you're losing. <laughs> right? Right? I will tell you this. You'll start to make progress sooner rather than later if you play by the rules of the game. Sooner rather than later. <clears throat> you see how, uh, you see how it always comes back to that? You see how it always, always, always comes back to that? That one simple rule. Do you know about Osa, Osa, o Osa, Osa, the new op from R6? If yes, what do you think of her? Uh, honestly, man, I haven't played R6 in so long. I, I probably don't know the last, the last three operators. How 
How do we know if we're truly accepting? If you're worrying, you're not accepting because second fear was just a fancy term for worry. So if the physical symptoms get you to get you to do a lot of worrying, then you're losing. If the intrusive thoughts get you to worry about what they're saying, then you're losing, right? And now that doesn't mean you have to be perfect, but we need to cut back on that. We need to spot that worry, nip it in the bud, change it to an attitude of acceptance, and we need to do that over and over and over and over and over, and we need to practice that, practice that, practice that, practice that. So to put it very simply, if the physical symptoms get you to worry about what they're doing, then you're losing. If the negative intrusive thoughts get you to worry about what they're saying, then you're losing, right? Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying you got to make the feelings or thoughts go away. That's not what I'm saying at all. That'll happen as you heal. What I am saying is that if they get you to do a lot of worrying, then you're losing. That's the habit we have to break because second fear is just a fancy term for worry. So I hope that sums it up. I, I think that's pretty cut and dry, man. I, I think that's as straightforward as you can put it. So think on that for a minute and you'll have all the answers you're looking for. So your mind might come with a negative intrusive thought that says you'll never be able to stop worrying. So if that thought gets you to worry about what it's saying, then you're losing. So to that thought, we say, okay, guess I'll never get it then. You see what we're doing? We're playing by the rules of the game now because we know how the game is played. You see? And anybody's capable of doing that. It's just a matter of practice. Just a matter of practice. That's all it is, chat. That's all it is. It's not a matter of being perfect, but it is a matter of practicing. making a little Twitter post real quick. You guys need to go follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Vacate Fear. I had a late start today, man. My sleep is all screwed up. I really need to fix it, dude. Uh, it's just all screwed up. I've had a late start today, and I'm trying now to like scramble and get caught up with everything. Oh shit. You guys jump scaring the hell out of me. Who was that? Uh, Kate. Kate coming in with a $5 tip. Was there a tip note? No tip note. Kate, thank you so much for the $5 tip. I really appreciate you. Not only have we hit tip goal tonight, but we have broke it, man. Let's celebrate, chat. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Huge shout out to Kate. Uh, Sanchez style alert. Mom of eight. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it, beautiful people. I appreciate it, beautiful people. A good season of the Grand Tour to binge watch. I need to find something to binge watch. I need to get on something. I'm going to go for a walk to the dairy. Anyone want anything? Uh, let's see. Can you pick me up a Snickers bar? That would be great. Man, do you remember my first questions like as recovery is going back to your old self or just learning to live with anxiety? I was so skeptical. Heart pounding, left side, not sweaty. I mean, that's where everyone starts, dude. Don't worry about it. That's where everyone starts. Everyone starts from a place of being extremely scared, uh, terrified, scared, and confused. And uh, that's why I try to jump on here and make it as straightforward as possible. That's my goal, man. So, I, you know, don't beat yourself up. That's where everyone starts. That's where I started. It's easy to forget. Some people forget that I'm not just some guy who knows how anxiety is played from, from learning about it, reading about it. I'm some guy who was right there with you down in the trenches, man, as bad as you could get, 
right? Some people forget that. It's easy to listen to me now and forget that I was once just as bad as you could possibly get with this shit. And that's that's me being as, as blunt about it as I can be. I was awful, right? So don't forget that, you know? Jump scare for the win. Also, I saw your chest tattoo says fear. I love that. Yes, I do have a giant tattoo across my chest that says fear. A lot of people ask to see that one. And you know what? Just so happens today, I'm only rocking a hoodie, so I can probably show you that. Watch my whole channel get taken down. Is this something that should be on OnlyFans? I don't know. But I do have a giant tattoo that's in a bat. It's kind of hard to see. I'm so far away. I do have a giant tattoo across my chest that says fear. And the reason I have the word fear tattooed across my chest so insanely uh, big like this is because fear changed my life. It taught me about acceptance. It taught me how life is played. Keep in mind, I say how life is played because this is good life advice. If these thoughts and these feelings get you to worry, it's a cycle, man. And it's so devastating and, and, and can impact you so much. So fear changed my life in the best ways possible. It not only got this channel started, which is now saving lives, but fear taught me a lot about life in general. So that's why I've got the word fear tattooed across my chest right there. There you go. <clears throat> Snickers it is. I appreciate it, Cassie. Assuming there's any left, the panic uh, by two days ago when we started lockdown made every shelf bare. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it made everybody run out and, and buy the stores completely clean. The, re the reason the word fear there is, is in a bat, the reason I put it in a bat is, is nothing significant. I just love bats. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing special behind that, but I, I'm just, I really love bats. That's why I've got three bats tattooed beside my eye. I'm just a fan of bats. <laughs> That's all that is. Bats are awesome, man. It doesn't get much cooler than bats. Hey, that's awesome. Why? Whatever helps. Keep in mind that meditation basically just is a simple way of saying... You become more focused on what you're doing so that you can break the worry habit. But, you know, you can break the worry habit either way. You just got to be aware of it. I'm honestly so happy I found your channel. That's awesome, George. Though I read through the comment section on a TED Talk on how to not be anxious about anxiety. Whoever put that comment there is a godsend. Uh, you know, there's a ton of information that you can find out there. There's a ton of information that you can find out there. There's a ton of different opinions. At the end of the day, it's all going to come back to that one thing, though. At the end of the day, it's all going to come back to if these thoughts and feelings get you to do the worry and you don't spot that and break that, then you stay in the cycle. Uh, so despite all of the overwhelming information that is out there, that is what it's always going to come back to. Are you Batman? You can tell us. I'm going to have to keep that a secret right now, Travis. Maybe, maybe one day. First time I've seen you, you look like Post Malone. It's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Especially back when the beard was, like, out of control. Whew, I just barely made it. What's up, Teresa? So glad I caught some of this. I've been really struggling lately. Hey, like we said, as long as you know how the game is played, then you, you've got, you know, the ball's in your court, so to speak. If these thoughts and feelings get you to do the worry and you don't spot it and break it and work on it, then you stay in the cycle. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Can I apply to be Robin? Absolutely, Ghost. Absolutely, dude. I gave you everything. What do I think of the Need for Speed franchise? Um, I liked them more back in the day when it was like heavily focused on like cop chases. I won't play. I won't play. I know there's a few that don't have cops at all. I won't play those. I won't play those. Those are no fun, in my opinion. <clears throat> what is my favorite game though? Uh, I'd probably. Oh, that's a good question. I'd probably have to give it to Silent Hill, either Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 3. Long, long time fanboy of the Silent Hill uh, series. Dibs for Nighthawk. You got it, dude. I'll, ri I'll write all this down. Denise. Denise. Thank you so much, Denise. Let me, let me make sure that is the right person. Yes, Denise, thank you so much. Denise says, Vacate Fear, thank you, Wonder Bro. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You guys have absolutely destroyed the tip goal tonight, man. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Need for Speed Most Wanted was the best downhill from there. I agree. Uh, seriously, though, thank you guys so, so much. Denise, uh, Kate Sanchez, Style Alert, Mom of Eight. I believe that's everybody, right? Oh, Cassie, uh, thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can we get a huge shout out in the chat for all these lovely, amazing people? Again, Denise, thank you so much. I appreciate you. <clears throat> thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, Silent Hill scared the hell out of me. I played it when I was like six in my dad's PS2 and never been the same. <laughs> I love Silent Hill. Silent Hill was like my happy place growing up. That sounds so weird to say, but... Damn, late again. It's okay. Better late than never. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Hey, seriously, though, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Denise, Kate, Sanchez, Style Alert, uh, Mom of Eight, Cassie, thank you guys so much. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Let's give a huge round of applause to these people, man. Yeah, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it a ton. Let's see, I'm going to drop the Discord link again real quick for anybody who wants to join us over there. It should pop up for you in just a second. What is my cat doing? Probably sleeping. The cat is never allowed to come in here because Nova, Nova is in here and she is not a fan of cats. Silent Hill 3 f me up good when I was in high school. I don't know. I don't know why Silent Hill became my happy place, but it did. Like, I felt, you know, don't get me wrong. The first time I played through the games, like Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3, the first playthroughs were very uh, spooky. They were scary and, uh, you know. But after I played them so much and, and, you know, played them through multiple times, they became, you know, just my happy place. I, I don't know. It's so weird to say that over such a... Uh, horrific game a set of games but i love silent hill even even to this day i uh, i'll sit around and listen to the silent hill soundtrack I was, i've also got a few silent hill tattoos
if I had if I had to choose between the two though, like if I absolutely had to, which would be difficult for me to do, but if I had to choose between the two, I would probably. Oh, I always choke up on this question. I would probably go with Silent Hill 2 over 3. But honestly, in my mind, they're both equally the same. I love them. It's a really hard one to answer. AC3, COD, NF, uh, NFS Rivals. I still listen to the music score from those, and it brings back all those memories. Yeah, I love soundtracks, dude. I love soundtracks. Um, I sit around, like I said, and listen to the Silent Hill soundtrack probably more than I should. Yeah, they were gonna make they were gonna make Silent Hill PT, and it just uh, it never happened. Silent Hills, it was gonna be good, dude. I was I was hype, and then it just got canceled. By the way, I don't know if I don't know if Soul is still in here, but Soul, if you're still in here, I just got your DM about a coaching session. Um, I sent you a, a reply just now. You guys know that I'm currently on a night owl schedule. Uh, my my sleep is extremely backwards, but I'll I'll be doing those throughout the night. So if anybody's interested and in actually uh, around at this time, feel free to toss me a DM. Um, I can honestly probably do one tonight. So toss me a DM and we'll see what we can do. Thank you, as always. Good night, all. Good night, Teresa. Room of Angels, one of the best, if it's not the best game. Soundtracks agreed. What do you think of Cyberpunk? I've not actually played it. I, I heard that it was a glitchy mess. I've not actually played it. Uh, I would change that up a bit, Travis, because that, that's got a hint of worry into it. I would just say, you know what? I, I feel the way that I feel, right? Let's just leave it at, at that. Let's just leave it there. Instead of trying to convince ourselves, okay, don't feel fearful, don't feel fearful, you know. Let's just cut out the worry completely. You see where we're going with this? <clears throat> All right, guys, we have surpassed that one-hour mark. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for another excellent stream, man. I'm going to get something to eat. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and remember, you know the rules of the game, and it's time to play by the rules of the game. I love you guys. Make sure you give this stream a like. Share it out, man. There's plenty of people out there that still need this advice. Let's get it to them. And again, thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. And until next time, as always.